Hi, there are two ways how you can scan documents on the Samsung Galaxy S25. The first one is with the help of camera, so let's open camera. And now in the photo mode, we need to tap on four dots and then tap on settings icon. And after that, make sure that this first feature, scan documents and text, is enabled. If yes, the switcher would be blue. If you see it like that, then simply tap it and it would be turned on. Now, all we have to do is to take our document we want to scan, point the camera at it, and after that, you should see that it is now in this orange frame. So make sure all of your text is within the frame, and then tap this T icon, and this is how it should look now. At this point, from here, choose Scan, by tapping it like this and now you can adjust its size by dragging the corners so let me just quickly do it we can retake it or we can save it like that let's tap save and now this document is safe so let's go in gallery open it and if you want to save it in PDF, you will need to tap on three dots. From here, choose Print, tap on the arrow, and choose Save as PDF. And after that, tap this orange icon, PDF. Choose where you want to save it, for example, in Documents, and just tap Done. After that, to find it, just open Samsung folder, Choose My Files. In here, tap on your internal storage. Then go in Documents. And here it is, saved in PDF. And we can open it with OneDrive, for example. But we need to allow access as well. And this is how it will look. The next way how we can scan it is with the help of Google Drive. But in that case, make sure that you are connected to internet. So let's just find Google Drive by using the search bar. And now we need to tap this button, New. Choose Scan, Allow Access while using the app. And just as we did before, point the camera at the document. Press the camera shutter button and here tap OK. After that, this is the preview how your document will look. You can, of course, adjust its size, tap Done, and if you want to save it, just tap this button Save. Then you can rename this file. Let's just try to rename it. And after that, we can also choose location where we want to store it. For example, let's choose my drive and simply select this folder and then tap save. And now let's find it in the list. And yes, here it is, saved in PDF. So that's it for today. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.